to Tampa Bay because we are the host city of this marvelous show called the Super Bowl. The hometown Bucks were heavy underdogs facing the top-ranked offense in the NFL. The defending champion Chiefs had their way with Tampa Bay's defense in week 12. You cannot guard Tyreek Hill one-on-one -on -one down the field the whole time. You press 10, it's a touchdown. Simple. You gotta have a safety over the top, you know what I'm saying? It was week 12 that provided defensive coordinator Todd Bowles with his Super Bowl blueprint. What Todd did against Kansas City is he just said, they're not going to beat us deep. The safeties are deep because they got to protect. Look at these two guys. They keep backing up. I thought Todd had a master plan. If Pat wants to run around, let him run around, but he's not going to beat us running around. He's going to beat us throwing the ball down the field as he's running around. They didn't get behind us like they got in the first game. They got behind us in the first game. They didn't get behind us in the second game. Hill held to one catch for five yards. After 203 yards in the first quarter here in November. This is the second time you play against a Todd Bowles type defense. He was not going to let him beat him. You know, for Todd to abolish almost everything we did all season, I mean, we're an eight man front blitzing team, man free fire zones. We didn't do that. He put those two safeties, he put them up high, and said, this is what I want you to do. You may think it's mundane. I want you to stay high. As simple as that sounds, that was the whole key to a lot of the success. Let's go Sunday, Sunday side. Only four teams blitzed more than Bowles defense in the regular season. In the Super Bowl, they rarely blitzed. It was a risk that paid off. We just understood that let's get after the quarterback with four, play coverage behind it, and we're going to ride with our guys up front. This is how you beat great offenses in history, your front four. And the front four took the game over, and so it didn't have to blitz. And these guys on the edge are so good for Tampa Bay, making life difficult. I never in, in my wildest dreams thought we were going to hold them out of the end zone. Perfect game plan by Ty Bowles. Let's go, Tommy! The offense built a lead late in the first half. Gronkowski's got two today! Keep the hammer down. Just put him on. Yeah, yeah, ain't stop. Be able to just walk back. Keep attacking. <laughs> Keep attacking. Help a drive, kid. Help a drive. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. Instead of playing it safe, Tampa Bay risked it for the biscuit, much like they did to end the first half in the NFC Championship game. The Buccaneers now with 55 seconds remaining. I shook Tom up and said, hey, we're, we're going for points. And he's like, what? He's like, yeah, we got a timeout. Let's go get three points out of this now. We got a timeout. Don't take any chances. They call timeout. And then we, we take the shot down the field, and Mike gets the pass here in French call. So we know we've got three. Oh! The flag will come out. Pass interference. Again, Mike Evans draws a flag. Two weeks in a row that he just he went with his gut and stayed aggressive. Yep, throw it. Ball has to be incomplete or in the end zone. We got one stop for the end zone. So the Bucks are going to take one shot. Tony O'Brown dives low to make this catch with six seconds left. Really a great route by Antonio Brown. <laughs> we had installed this play, uh, you know, based off the coverages that they played down there. It was a whip route. He was supposed to take uh, the defender in, and then he was going to run to the front pylon. The defender ends up lining outside of him. What well, we had practiced all week being more head up, the inside. So instead of running him in, he said, this guy's outside of me. I'm going to attack the leverage. I'm going to take him out. I'm going to come back in. I don't know what he ran, but he got open. Obviously, I'm excited that we scored, but I'm like, what are you doing? What, you know, why, why'd you go? Why, why'd you run that route? And he's like, coach, he was outside of me. Let's go! Just like the half at Green Bay, 
coming off that field with a touchdown is huge in a big game like that. The second half was a coordination. Playoff Lenny reached the end zone for the fourth time in the playoffs. Yeah! Kill that ass, baby! And Bowles' unit finished off one of the best defensive performances in Super Bowl history. Intercepted! Picked off in the end zone! Devin White! Bucks are gonna beat the Chiefs! We're the champions of the world! You better call the National Guard. You better call the. Oh, no. You better call the war. I don't see hey, no one touchdown. They just kicked their ass. They need some help. No right after Devin got the interception, and we knew we were winning the ball game right before the clock ran out, and we came to each other and gave each other a big <laughs> hug, and I was so happy for him. Looking at BA, what he's done his entire career, just how he held this team together. Congrats. You deserve it, man. Thanks, brother. You do. So happy for you. My goodness, he finally got his due. Way to go, baby. No way we wasn't getting this for you. I promise you that. No way. First of all, I never thought I'd be coaching again. And then do it in our second year is really, really special. Way to go, baby. Way to go. The whole Temple connection. You know, it's fam we family, you know, and we and BA trusts us, you know, brings everybody in, we go and win it. It was surreal. <laughs> we had a family hug that was really, really special. <laughs> what they went through in that long journey to get there was amazing. <laughs>